Hi, and welcome to your next lecture in Computer Science for Everyone. Finally, we get to talk about constructing algorithms. Let's see a sample problem, and let's try to create an algorithm from it. We need to create a program that will get data from a database, create a graph with it, and then email the graph and the data set to the customer. So we have to get data from a database, create a graph with it, and email the graph and the data set to the customer. Obviously, the problem was fairly simply set out so that you would see these steps quite quickly. But it is important to realize that there's these three steps to begin with. And many people wouldn't realize that. This is really important in computing. If you can think like this, then programming will suddenly seem a lot easier. So get the data from a database. There are a few sub-steps in this. We have to connect to the database, and we have to get the data from the specific table inside the database. It's not just an abstract concept of getting data. We need to break this down into multiple sub-steps, in this case, connecting to the database and accessing the table and getting data from it. Then we need to create the graph. Creating a graph from a data set is a fairly complicated thing to do. And we will not go into detail on how to do this or anything like that. But that would also have a few sub-steps. And finally, we have to email the graph and the data to the customer. So we create the email with a data table. We attach the graph. And then we send it to the customer. So obviously, there has been a, a fairly simple example of what an algorithm could look like. Creating the graph would also have multiple sub-steps. And then you would end up with pretty much your program already set up, already planned, so that you could start programming it step by step or thinking about what steps need to be programmed first so your program could end up working. Thinking in algorithms is really important because the computer works as a giant algorithm. Everything happens because the previous things that have happened have led your computer into doing the current thing. From the moment your computer starts up, there is a series of steps. And then the computer itself and your interaction with the mouse and the keyboard will take the computer down a certain path. If you can train yourself to think algorithmically, just like the computer does, this will benefit your programming skills because you'll be able to think like the computer. You'll be able to kind of empathize if, if, if computers have any anything to empathize with, with the computer. So, Thinking, how does the computer do this? What does the computer do when I write this? What steps will we follow in order to achieve this objective? What program do we want to create? Or why do we need this program? Yeah, and then, how does the computer do this? What do we need to make the computer do in order to end up with this product? And can we divide these steps into smaller steps? When you think, OK, we cannot divide any of the steps that our program is divided into into any smaller steps, then it's time to start programming. So think in, in algorithms. Thinking algorithmically is a vital skill for any programmer. And if you are going to program, either seriously or as a hobby, being able to think like the computer is going to let you program a lot better and a lot easier. So. Let's move on to the next video where we're going to try to create an algorithm. I'll see you in the next video.